I'm white trash and I'm in trouble. Relax and take notes while I take totes of the marijuana smoke. Oh, you want to choke? Gun smoke, gun smoke. Back fat, back you. fat, back fat, back fat. <laughs> 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 she she's going to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking stupid. <laughs> It's funny because the kids at the school, they were talking about their dads. And uh, one kid's like, my daddy has muscles. And my kid goes, my daddy doesn't have muscles. He has a belly. And a beard and tattoos. But he's big. He's really strong. But he doesn't have muscles. He has a belly. I'm like, I get it. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> El Santa Claus. <laughs> what an asshole that kid. That's hey, really welcome fun. back to another episode of White Trash in Trouble. I'm your host, Scotty and EJ. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, damn. It's like, damn, he's taking over already, I man. I identify as a DID system. <laughs> he now identifies as a Polak from Georgia. What? <laughs> AKA my D&D character. Yeah. What is it? A, a chaotic, evil fucking druid? And he's the no. unsuccessful DJ Khalid. We oh take it only one podcast at a time. <laughs> I'll honestly be a chaotic neutral uh, bard. Bard. I don't know what type of woke stuff you just said to me. But... It's There's D&D. Woke it. This is all anti vagina. You uncultured swine, you uncultured swine. Anyway, like yes. When the craft came out, I was so happy that all I had to do was pay 15 bucks a month to ensure I'd be a virgin for a long time. <laughs> anyway, welcome back to another episode of White Trash and in Trouble because Manny likes to take shit over like Israel. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Well, I'm, fired. I'm Scotty Chi. Oh, oh, you, mean, you, mean, you mean missile shot? Oh my god. I'm EJ Salter. And we have a our wonderful, guest today. Wonderful Need guest. No introduction. He's our first guest. I mean, technically he's supposed to, he he could have been our third one, but you know, with bullshit and miscom not miscommunication, but uh Scotty forgetting to do his fucking job. No. <laughs> It's because you took my job, you fucking immigrant. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, you're not. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, Manny's our first guest. Manny, how, how does it feel you are the first guest on White Trash and in Trouble right now, brother? I feel like I'm getting arrested. A re- an erection or arrested? Sure, yes, both. Both? <laughs> I mean, this is White Trash and in Trouble. I'm brown Trash, so we'll see how it works. Mm-hmm. Well, it's been yellow trash and in trouble. It's been high class and in trouble. It's, it's been, been no royal, royal trash. It's been inbred trash. It's been black black trash. It's uh, been inbred royal trash. Fuck the royal family. <laughs> inbred royal trash. It's been Chinese trash. Oh, uh, yeah. British British trash. You name it. Oh, should have named that episode Who Flung Who. <laughs> Occupational trash. Got it. Occupational <laughs> trash. But I, I mean, I mean, there's no. I mean, Manny needs a, no introduction. You know, he's fucking I, phenomenal. I we it. we love Manny. He's he's great. Yeah, he's um, you know, stand up comedian in the area and one of our dearest friends. But Manny, you doing good, buddy? Yeah, I'm great. Yeah, yeah. Above ground is a good dick. Above ground's a good dick. Any day above ground is a good day. Oh, you heard he wanted to hear. Sorry. I got, I, I got, um, I don't know. I got sensory issues in my ears. I can't hear that good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got your brain stuck in the Jewish uh, But yeah, no, we're, we're, we're glad to have you, man. But no, but this, uh, you know, every, every time, I mean, I don't have to explain the show, but oh, cheers. What, what are you drinking there? Tequila. Oh. Yeah. Uh, moonshine and sweet tea. I like to call it moon tea. I got a drink right here. It's nothing. It sounds like something some woke bitch would have you served with freaking crystals on the side. Uh, Is it a- I like your shirt, Manny. Give me a minute. Thanks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> But yes, so the the show obviously you know you know it, but the audience doesn't. So uh, we, we have an audience. Oh my god! Um, yeah, obviously, 
<laughs> white trash and in trouble. You know, it doesn't have to be a article about someone who necessarily is white trash. It can be basically anybody. It could be a celebrity. It can be, you know, a person of color. It could be anybody. You know, it could even be a fucking kid that gets in trouble that that and and fucks up and does something really stupid. You know, so I hate that you said a person of color. <laughs> Oh, come on. So the long way around calling him a colored person. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, all right, Uncle Ruckus. <laughs> There's a helicopter. I can hear the helicopter. It's Border Patrol. <laughs> it's like Manny Gusset. Come out of your house. You are a white trash out oh, in trouble. <laughs> so, Manny, have you had any good shows lately? Doesn't make my fucking beard blended. Yeah. I had a show at. Oh, yes, you did. Oh, yes. You want to tell us what? For, I opened for Therapy Gecko, and it was quite honestly, it was the biggest thing that I've ever done in comedy. It was 250 people there. Nice. Um. I thought I bombed. Did you bomb? No. So what it was, it was just a low energy crowd. And I always take it on myself like, man, I did terrible, blah, blah, blah. And then Gek gets off stage, therapy get though, and he goes, man, I I feel like I bombed. And I was like, what? What are you talking about? He's mm-hmm. like, it's just a low energy crowd. And I'm like, this is the same thing I just said to my wife. <laughs> <laughs> So, so you couldn't film like, it, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. so I'm so yeah. mad that I'm so mad they wouldn't let you film your fucking sub just because you have ties with. So yeah, since you brought it up, oh, we'll are, are, wait, we're not airing those things out, are we? So, no, I'll air it out because it's corporate policy. It did not allow me to record because I worked for a different comedy club. Uh, extremely part time, like once or twice a month. Did you want me to block yes. out uh, what I just said? Block out the name yeah. of where I work. Well, block out, block out yeah, the. Still, you, you named yeah. off another club. Let's. Still... I, I, I can block. I can block out that club. So. Yeah, yeah block them both out. Okay, I will. So just say a certain club won't let me record because I from I work with a certain. Well, I mean, <laughs> anybody anybody who Google's um. Therapy Gecko uh, Tampa will see the only place that he's ever showed up to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a loophole. I'm fine. How about, loophole. how about I'll dub it over and I'll say, tap this in Newport Richie. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they would let you do it. Title either. Brewing. Title with, Brewing. But... Ordinance One. Ordinance <laughs> One. With the fucking Stefano Gabagool. No. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> So, um, yeah, let's get this shit rolling, Manny. You do us the honors. I want to. I want to hear what you got to say. Oh, me first. You first, baby. So, how about how about one of you go first, so that I can see what it's like, and then. All right, EJ, you want to go first? Sure. All right. I only first at the mics. <laughs> so, on this week's episode of White Trash and in Trouble. <laughs> You can be educated and be white trash. I, I fuck my quotations up there. Welcome to Florida. <laughs> no, even worse. It's from a shittier state than Florida could ever imagine. This state's so shitty. Before I dive into How shitty, shitty is it? How shitty is it? It's so shitty. It's fucking Pennsylvania. Oh. Okay. <laughs> My sister lives there. Nothing, okay. nothing good Sorry. comes out of Pennsylvania. <laughs> Fuck Pennsylvania. All right. <laughs> I see what you're doing. Hey, come on. I don't condone this <laughs> behavior. So. <laughs> Can I smoke on here? I don't give a fuck. Go ahead. <laughs> you can do whatever you want, buddy. Yeah, you um, can. You, you can do fentanyl if you want to. No, so, okay. a professor at Penn State. By the name of Themis Masalkas or Mutsakas, whatever the hell the damn Greek name is. Now, just Themis. for huh? Themis. Themis. Yeah. Now he's kind of Masalkas. Do you know what I'm talking about? Do you know what happened? <laughs> yeah, that's his uncle. No. Okay. I'm laughing at the fucking name. How stupid it is. Go ahead. 
So, well, you know what Themis is in Greek, right? It's the god of justice. Oh, However, sure. The god of justice, but fuck this professor from Penn State like he did his dog. Wait, he butt fucked yeah. his dog. So, <laughs> this is starting to sound a lot like a real short on says. this. But, so, Professor Themis Matsukas of Penn State University, he's a published author. He, uh, his tenure is no longer with uh, Penn State University because he was caught at a park, a national park in Pennsylvania. Um, let me pull the name of it up. Hold on. I they have on uh, uh, North Fox State Forest by trail cams. Wait, what state forest? North, uh, uh, so Rock, Rock, Rock State Forest. The little. Oh. Hold on. Let me get my mind right. Looks like you're drinking uh, honey. Rock, Rock State Forest. Boy, I okay. am two shots of tequila and let's get as right as you can. <laughs> yeah. So. Matsukas walked his corgi dog into Rothrock State Forest. He was like seen on trail cams. And this is, they, they traced their trail cams back to 2014 and saw this guy. For 10 with years? A ski, mask, a ski mask and a North Face backpack going naked into the woods, rubbing his genitalia on handrails. He was shoving a tree branch in his rectum. Also was saw shoving a Tootsie Pop in his rectum. And what type of fuck bag does that? I bet he got the chocolate one so he couldn't tell the difference and probably had the Corgi lick it. Right? We all know Corgi's <laughs> the best asses in the dog world. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> hey, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes, but questions. But. <laughs> was he putting this up his own ass or the dog's ass? Oh, I hate that. Yeah. Fuck that guy. Dude, like this guy's a piece of shit. He's probably Greek, but he's wrong. white trash as fuck. There's right? nothing wrong with a little bit of ass play, but dude, not on the corgi. Like that was the queen's dogs. Fuck that dead bitch. But <laughs> I mean, corgis are thick, but I mean, come on, dude. Bro, they got that cake. <laughs> They're thick with three C's. But they trace their fucking trail cams. Yeah. <laughs> the boy fuck. Yeah. Man, he should be an expert on thick asses. He is a Latino. <laughs> I like big butts and I cannot lie. <laughs> so <laughs> <Have you seen laughs> my... he was caught this time as he was coming out of the park, out of the state forest. With his mm. pants down, walking his pet collie. Sorry, not collie, not corgi. It was a collie. Oh, Lassie. So he violated Lassie. Oh, this the whole story. This makes it worse. Oh, poor yeah, Lassie. Yeah. He violated Lassie. Lassie's so good. What's that, Lassie? Huh? <laughs> she just stuck a tree branch in your butt. <laughs> wait, you, wait, he made you yeah, a peanut butter? Off. Yeah. off of what? Yeah. 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 stuck up your ass? <laughs> He was in a ski mask and what? a North Face he backpack. Wiped, he wiped your ass with poison ivy. <laughs> he also was caught masturbating by a women's restroom. Right? Location, Just before location, location. engaging in another sexual act with a dog. He also tried to record it on a silver iPad. This guy is blowing up sponsorships if they would sponsor horrible people. Okay, North Face said, go fuck yourself. <laughs> iPad said, go fuck yourself. Well, no, because he was fucking in the donkey style, so that's Face South ass North. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't help myself. <laughs> He's going to wag this joke to death. <laughs> now, here's Ooh. one of my favorite parts of this story. We are such hacks. Go ahead. <laughs> so they followed they they caught him coming out the previous people that reported it said a naked man with a ski mask and a silver a gray north face backpack was seen getting into a green subaru outback now i did not know he was a lesbian Oh, oh, oh! Because the Subaru <laughs> I, I, I got, I got so lost. I was just like, 
Hmm? <laughs> it took you so, so when long. When they came out, hmm. he was walking to his oh, team, Subaru Outback. And when he was arrested, he was yelling to the troopers that caught him, Just shoot me! I deserve to die! Yes, you do, you dog fucking piece of shit. <laughs> so this did he die? In June of last year. No, no. He even said the same thing in front of the judge. Uh, it's still going on, I believe. I couldn't find any uh, updates. However, the Penn State, what a shit fucking school that is. Okay, the Nittany Lions. They're so lame they had to name their fucking school after the mountain behind them. I mean, okay. I mean, I mean, they went from fucking a, a child fucker now to a dog fucker. That sounds like a very specially challenged Mitt Romney. A nickname. A mitt <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for bringing that up because I wanted to parlay that into this. Penn State is a horrible establishment. What a shit school. You had football coaches fucking students, and now you've got professors fucking dogs. They're no they're longer going to be Penn State. They're going to be, we're getting put in the Penn State. <laughs> Penitentiary State. Penitentiary State. <laughs> 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 oh, or State Penitentiary. <laughs> <laughs> state Penitentiary. <laughs> at least it's not Ohio like, State. I mean, I like do podcasts. These jokes fucking write themselves. I know. <laughs> so stupid. So, this, this, is what, up, this is what I've been wanting to do for a long time. <laughs> so to sum this head? up, it's crazy. former Penn State professor Themis Matsukas proves that you could be educated, publish a book, teach a bunch of kids that are fucking dumb enough to follow you, you dog fucking piece of shit, and still be Greek butt white trash and in trouble. Hey, his name sounds my, like a- anus my, anus my took us. Oh, anus my took us. Why you gotta make us look Jewish? Oh man! So well, do you want to see what he looks like? I do. This is yes. Gold. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yes, we do. So I originally got this article from the New York Post, Ooh. and then uh, there's a video of a guy laughing about it. Uh, so he was arraigned on charges of open lewdness, indecent exposure, sexual intercourse with an animal, and animal cruelty. And oh, yeah. kind of looks like Doug Stanhope a yeah. little bit. I'm you. not saying But he looks Cut like a normal guy, out. though. <laughs> Huh? He looks like a normal guy, though. Like, like yeah, I don't know. He, yeah, he's, he's a, a normal guy that fucks his dog in the park. I mean, he's not a bad looking guy either. I mean, like you think he can go for? He, I mean, instead of fucking a pussy, he can actually get pussy. You know, fucking a bitch, he can pull a bitch. That too, whatever. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he probably banged some students. Our anus took us here. You are white trash and in trouble. Um, Manny, I have a feeling you have a really good one. So you you want me to <laughs> you want me to go so that way you can uh you can view what we uh, what we still do. Do you? You all go. Uh, you know. Yeah. Save the best for last. I'll go second. <laughs> well, then, I guess. Just said, so pretty uh, interesting. So mine, so mine was actually a meme that was being shared around for a while, like on Facebook, Instagram, and whatever. And you know, it was so fucking bizarre because honestly, I want to consider this guy maybe white, white trash for sure, but in trouble, I don't know because it's for a good cause because we all love this specific animal. Uh, Anus McTookus up in Penn State loves this animal too much more, but you know, but we love this animal like we love it as like our own child. You know what I mean? So, so this is posted under Nerd News by C- by Cesar Moya. Man abducts scientist to make his dog immortal. I respect that. I respect <laughs> it. So, John Wick is one of, if not the greatest dog defenders known to man. However, we now know about another individual who has risked everything to save the life of his dog indefinitely. Florida man, Philip Joseph, 
has decided course. that his dog should have eternal life because the loss of his loved one would be devastating. That's pretty fucking sad. He yeah, loved. Then, if hmm? the dog has eternal life, that's dog shit for the dog because then he's got to go through a fucking bunch of different owners. What if he ends up with a fucking Lutsakis that fucks him in the butt? They, you know, that's a good question right there, man. I mean, I don't want that dog to be a fuck in the butt either. <laughs> Poor little baby. He loves his dog too much, and he can't let it die, he explains. All dog owners would love to never have to worry about their four-legged friend moving on to the afterlife. But, man, he's like, where's the science at? <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, even though he's been, he's been in the afterlife, so he, he knows better than we do. But Joseph has taken it to the next level. He he is not trying to figure out how to immortalize his dog on his own. He doesn't understand Frankenstein's scientific formulas and uh, biological procedures necessary to accomplish this task. And Joseph is not giving up type. And the third moment element wasn't Frankenstein's thing. Frankenstein was the monster. Frankenstein was the monster. He fucking brought the corpse. No, Frankenstein was not the monster. He was oh, a scientist. Frankenstein was the name of the doctor. Yeah, the scientist. The name yeah, of the yeah, monster. Yeah, I fucked that up. Sorry. Wait, I thought but the name. I thought the name of the monster the doctor, was. I thought his Herbert. name was. No, I thought it was like. Oh, I don't. Know. <laughs> <laughs> was he mono? About earlier, all you need is Helen sure, Keller and everything nice. <laughs> <laughs> all right hold on let me so he kidnapped ryan lockhart a doctor and scientist from the university of south florida hey tampa so only USF. One... yeah baby oh, yeah. Now, one can only imagine uh what was going on in ryan's mind at that point no laboratory no no secret for chemical formula to keep the dog alive and forever and a crazy guy holding him hostage this feels like that movie tusk Will you please? I'm going to kill you. Make my dog live forever. He's kind of like Harrison Ford. Where's my family? <laughs> you have a tusk? I don't want my dog to die. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> a fugitive. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Keep going. Yes. Joseph was, was eventually found by the police after Ryan's family noticed he was missing and started an investigation. However, Joseph didn't didn't face any charges because apparently this is a mistake anyone who loves their dog as much as Joseph does will make when pressed against a life pondering question. But here's my question. Was he on drugs? Because it's not explaining in the article that if he was on if he was on drugs or anything, you know? I mean maybe the problem is that he wasn't on his drugs. Maybe he wasn't on his meds. Maybe he's like schizophrenic or something. And maybe his dog was talking to him. He was just like, if if everybody wants to be pro mental health, then we need to be pro fully mental health and talk about the fact some people need to be on their fucking drugs. For sure, no, absolutely. I mean, do you think maybe the dog was like, woof woof woof, Am Amos from uh from Penn State? I don't want to be raped by woof woof woof. Can you please help me woof woof? And he's like, I'll make you immortal. Sparky, <laughs> I just pictured a really fucked up version of Smokey the Bear going. Only you can prevent forest rapes. <laughs> it's, it's it's like Uncle Remus speaking to Brer Rabbit. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> wow, she's the most rootinous, rootinous. Uh, <laughs> <you know? laughs> so the I man just didn't want his dog to die. <laughs> Professor Matt Stukas. So the dog was never the dog was never dead. The I, the the guy must have been off his meds, and he probably just loved the dog so much because that's that's probably the only thing he fucking you know cares about. He probably doesn't have family or anything, so he's yeah. just like he probably had like a mental Maybe. breakdown. He's like, I don't want my dog to die. What kind of I mean, respected that scientist that much to think that that guy, if anybody. The fucking professor at University of South Florida could be the one to build a machine for immortality. I mean, we no, have, we have oh, he definitely needs I mean, kids. look, we have puberty blockers for kids. Why can't we have puberty blockers for dogs so that they can stay puppies, you know? I mean, come to Jesus Christ. Don't get me started on puberty blockers for kids. <laughs> 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 Off label. <laughs> Did not see that coming. <laughs> 
I don't know. I talked about that one time at an open mic. I just wanted to bring awareness to puberty blockers. (laughs) (laughs) I am a big fan of Steven Crowder. Just kidding. All I know. The guy's guy's obnoxious. Fuck that guy. All I know is when I've never looked into it, like the FDA approval for it is to block certain hormones in certain age groups, but it is being used off label a lot. And time will tell eventually if doctors are doing the wrong thing. Then there will be doing the wrong thing. It's a kid. They don't know what the fuck they want. published about it. I mean, Until then to to each their own. You do you, boo boo. I'm just gonna mind my own fucking business. But I know what the science. I says. mean, the kid won't be able to come if they if they do that like before puberty. Dude, kids are stupid. They don't know what they want. I wanted to be president. Then I wanted to be something else. Now I don't want to be a felon. Bro, you got to be 21. (laughs) Nah. What, Manny? You got to be 21 to buy cigarettes now. You got to be 25 to rent a car. All I'm saying is they don't trust people that fucking young to make decisions that are responsible. You can't have to be 18 to get shot by Russians. Ooh. No, I did see a video. It was this uh it was like these people, like these guys giving um like little kids, I think it was uh Oreo cookies and a th- and ten thousand dollars and they're like, Oh, choose which one. They chose the cookies. I mean, well, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm like, what exactly. I mean, come They're on. They're gonna say what ten thousand dollars is yet. They exactly. just think, oh my daddy have all the money, who cares? Exactly. Well, um, so there's no real update. Um the guy didn't get arrested. Um and For they kidnapping? And and it said they didn't get arrested for kidnapping. No, they dropped the charges. That's a life sentence. <laughs> but they did say he they actually he did pretend to get a scientist to come up with the serum, but it didn't work, of course. So uh, you're white trash, but you're not in trouble. I love I love animal. I love dogs very much. Not gonna fuck them, of course. Uh yeah, I don't want I like dogs. Yeah, um, you didn't go to Penn State. No. <laughs> <laughs> Or to the state pen, <laughs> Sean, Sean Penn State, <laughs> Manny, are you ready to go? Boy, fucking howdy! I think I understood the assignment. Um, the name of the podcast is White Trash and in Trouble, right? Yes, right. it is. Right, we can agree with that part. Cool. Um, Florida man ends up on the hood of a car at a fast food drive through in St. Pete, Florida. Oh, God. A man named Sean Drake was angry, and another man named Max got on the drive through be- uh, line before him, cutting it like they raced to get there, and he cut him off. And uh, they started yelling, or he started yelling at him and cursing and calling him things like redneck and white trash. <laughs> some penny went literal white trash <laughs> Max yelled back Max yelled back and the two men exchanged friendly finger gestures uh, and after Max disengaged and they had gotten to the front of the drive through line Drake was not over it and continued to escalate the situation like an electric staircase get it escalators this is where it gets crazy. Drake started intentionally rear-ending Max over and over and over again in the drive-thru line. Like, like Wait, a teacher from car? Penn State. <laughs> <laughs> he backed his car up and ran into him and then backed his car up again and ran into him. What a and did this over and over and over. And Max trying to chill out the situation because his dog and his pregnant girlfriend were in the fucking car. Max got out to try and talk to Drake. And the dude said, "Uh uh-uh, and just started driving off. Max gets fucking shoved on the hood. And this motherfucker goes like 20, 30 feet. And right before they get to the main road, Max fucking managed to roll off. Like, there's a there's video footage of this shit from the drive through Do you yeah. have it? Uh, I can send the link. <laughs> 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 but 
they were able to pull his license plate from that video. And the police later arrested Drake at his house, and he was charged with two counts of aggravated battery with a deadly weapon, the car. Um, he resisted officers without violence. I don't know what that means. And he got a fucking, fucking shit and like one around. Um, I think you could send it in the in this little chat bubble here. By the way, hold on. This is what the guy looks like that got hit. Oh, jeez. Like a stoner so sweetheart. his pregnant girlfriend and his cousin? Like a stoner sweetheart, right? And this is Oh, man, he showed his dick. <laughs> oh, dude, he looks like he's a meth head. Look at this sweetheart. All <laughs> American I mean, ginger boy. Like <laughs> they, look, they look like fucking Tampa comics. <laughs> That's the thing for the I mean, I mean, not specific ones, but they just look like they would do so, comedy. So, and dude jail. had two bitches in the in the vehicle and one on the way, and got rear-ended. Yeah, you, yeah, you can send the oh. link in the chat, Manny. I can pull it up and screen share it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 No, do like how Bob, Silent Bob would, like this. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Oh. oh, I thought you were like clearing blow out your nose. <laughs> no, I don't do that anymore. <laughs> I can't. Oh, you said, oh, you said I don't fucking this thing. Oh, hold on. Oh, shit. My bad. No, I think you can send it on uh, the, the chat oh, in Zoom. Oh, hey. Fuck. I'm watching this right now. Yeah. Said, oh. The chat on Zoom. I think you can do that. Uh, yeah, I could probably fucking pull it up. Yeah, you're going to. At Culver's? That. I'm I love, yeah. Culver's. I, love, I love Culver's. It's so fucking Butter, good. Butterburger? Such a good Butterburger. Butterburger sounds. They should definitely get ice cream. Why doesn't why butter burger like sounds like an insult? That's like a band name or a band name. What's up, Tampa? We're the fucking butter burgers. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see you make a mosh pit. I love how dude's talking to the reporter. He's like, We both raced to the drive through and I got there first. <laughs> Sweetheart. Holy. <laughs> He's like every fucking comic we know. <laughs> okay. I just noticed my name says Manny's iPad. And you I call me a dumb cool. redneck. I gave it to him back. He gave me the finger. I gave it back. Oh, like boy. How he old pal. All right. I got it. Um, you Can you guys hear the volume right now? It's not playing. Uh, it's not playing. I can see some boobies. Bro, Fox 13, like, remember back in the day they had Kelly and all that? No, I don't remember any of that shit. Yo, we just Dang. saw her O face. Hang on. I'm, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna find the footage of the guy fucking ramming the guy. Ah, bro, you wanna hear this dude talking. Yeah, but right I don't, I don't, I don't, you play Yeah, but I don't think you guys can hear the the, the volume. Uh uh-uh, uh, it's kind of choppy too. Should be able to see it though. Oh, and it's gay vehicles. It's not even good. Wait, no, it's the people's Volkswagen. <laughs> They're both Volkswagens. That was Hitler's favorite car. Look at him drag his ass off on the DJ, fucking hood. Stop. <laughs> he, he, he drove a Mercedes. <laughs> you, you saw him drag his ass off. You you, you can't you, you can't say that name on YouTube. What <laughs> Hitler? That is the worst censorship ever. How can you not say Hitler? He literally <laughs> so many documentaries that say Adolf Hitler, Adolf Hitler, Adolf Hitler, Adolf Hitler. Adolf yeah, if you say it on YouTube Hitler. five times Adolf fast, Hitler. he pops back up. He's like he's like Beetlejuice, Hitler, Hitler, Hitler. <laughs> you imagine if you just no Beetlejuice. <laughs> He's like candy oh man, and he sides with Hamas immediately. Oh, did you, you know guys... why it didn't work? Because I didn't say his name nine times. No, did did did, did you did you hear what I just said? No. Beetle Jews. Beetle Jews. 
<laughs> yeah. Okay. I love how camera there on the screen came is um highlighted in black. Yeah. Mm. IP came bro. Whoa, it changed. He just drove off with his ass it looks on the like hood. Vladimir Zelensky. Jesus Fuck, Christ. This dude was trying to kill me, bro. This dude's trying to kill me, dude. It was crazy, man. I just, I'm so glad I didn't die, bro. Yeah, man. That motherfucker almost died, bro. That shit was crazy, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, stop. Hey, don't, don't go. Don't, don't hit me, please. Don't what do you take? You did it in my bumper. Yeah. All right, Nancy Pelosi, get off the fucking TV there. <laughs> All right. Well, that was that was just that. Can we get fucking news footage and just dub it? <laughs> <laughs> we could definitely do that. It's just like, oh man, he, he hit him big good. He hit him big, big, big good. I mean, like, oh man, he went, he went far. He, he hit the homie went big far. Hit that oh, weather, man, Ollie. How's the weather today? Big old rain. Zippity doo dolls, zippity day. My oh my, what a wonderful day. <laughs> Um, I think there's one more person that that had a Miranda. Did you want to do an ep- a uh, article? You don't have one. Yeah. I got oh, a bonus. One. Do you want to come and say hello, Miranda? I'll let you have my other article. <laughs> I got a bonus one. What's your bonus one? <sighs> Wait, we Grandma. can. Huh? Grandma takes kids to Disney for the first time, and mom is really mad about it. But there's a catch. <laughs> was it Pleasure Did Island? It? <laughs> I was <laughs> chewing a bug yeah. off my keyboard. So what happened was, Grandma was asked. This is um, the couple has a kid or kids, and the kids um, normally go with mom's mom because they established a hierarchy that that's the preferred side of the family was mom's side of the family. It's really fucked up. Dad's side of the family is looked at as black sheep. So dad's dad, dad of the kids made a Reddit account for mom and posted in Am I the Asshole the story. And the story was <clears throat> she was asked black to sheep? babysit the kids. Huh? Did you call them black sheep? Yeah, that's what they call themselves. No, it, it's disenfranchised Democrats. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> um, so <laughs> she was asked, and she's like, well, I'm not comfortable watching the kids for five days because I have physical limitations, right? But her husband helped out a lot. So after she said no, like, you know, I'm not really comfortable with it, they pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed because they needed to go to a wedding in Mexico and leave their kids behind for five days. It's weird. It's weird. Yeah. So mom takes the kids, not thinking she's invited to a birthday party of a friend of hers who's having it at Epcot Center. And she takes the kids and they go to Disney for the very first time. And mom is livid that she, quote unquote, took the experience away from her of taking her kids to Disney for the first time. And the internet is not divided. They think mom is the asshole for leaving the kids with grandma <laughs> for five days. And mom's always- like, you chewed me out of taking my kids. No. Yeah. Wow. Well, how about Thanks. that? I know my wife would have been pissed in that situation. I also know my wife would have never done, done that. that. Exactly. No. We would have never done that shit. No. Never. I'd have just been happy that the kids were out of the house and I could fuck my wife. <laughs> <laughs> they had to leave the country for that shit. <laughs> exactly. Well, how about that, Manny? Manny, you, you, your your first experience on white trash and in trouble, you did a tufa. How do you feel about that? Man, it's pretty good. Yeah, we got a tufa. <laughs> I need one. <laughs> So that is the fucking gig, man. That's what we do here. White trash and in trouble. I'm glad. I'm I'm glad you came along, Manny. You should put a counter up on the screen. How many times you said white trash and in trouble, or everybody said it. white trash and in trouble, white trash and in trouble, white trash and in trouble. No, I don't. I, I don't have that. See a bridge where we get a kill, a uh, krill and kill count. I don't have Blanco that. Kind of, I don't have that kind of money. I can't fucking afford that. <laughs> Yeah, you can. You just got to sit there and fucking count it. 
No. Every time someone says it, you change it. Nine. Says what? Why trash it? Episode in South Park when they could say shit on TV. Yeah. So they count. See, you can do whatever you want. Just don't show your balls <laughs> on camera, please. I'm not Rick. I won't do that. <laughs> no, EJ. No. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I Anyway, Manny, um, you got so you, you you got some shows coming up, and also other projects co- coming up too. You want to explain what's going on? Oh, well, that project there's still no movement on it, so I don't know yet if I want to announce that. You don't have to announce it, but I do want to do a solo podcast uh, eventually, and yeah. uh, the ideas. Uh, don't, say it. The fine uh, don't, don't say it yet. Don't don't say it yet. Um, but have a, ne- when you get it going next time you come on, then you could talk yeah. about it. Promote it. I sure. mean, we have people that are looking for white trash on the internet finding us. Okay? Exactly. They're definitely going to fuck you out of an idea like that. Yeah, exactly. No offense, our spoiled sure. two followers. I mean, this isn't fucking original. I mean, it's, it's from South, no, for it, God's sakes. I'll tell you exactly what the idea is. It's just a one on one interview. Exactly. Uh, tell me a cool story. Yeah. I won't tell you the details of what that means, but okay. that's, mm-hmm. that's what it is. Yeah, but um, Manny, where can people find you, brother? I'm on Instagram at Manny the Comic. Manny the Comic. I have and a show coming up with you. Me? April 27th. Yes, we just booked it today. I'm a sasa. Hey, I look. Mean, you today. Look who it is. Amanda. <laughs> the VFW in Thomas I heard something. So you gotta, hold on, you got to show Hello. it to VFW. Yeah. yeah, we just booked one with uh, with Tanya Lee Davis on April 27th. Nice. Yeah, and then uh, EJ and I got a show on uh, Fall 20. Oh, oh nice. nice. Where is it? Give me deets. Uh, it's in Tampa. Where is it at? I don't have the name of the place yet. Uh, Jeremy Jesus. White put it together. Jeremy oh, White, hey. Ants for Ants as well. So it's gonna be a good show. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Um, and then, um, it's always fun this to watch. Thursday, dang good on Maine. And then we will Saturday, be there. Saturday will be uh, Tap This Bar and Brewery and Craft Life. Yep. Oh yeah, you got Craft Life. My show. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, and we got Miranda. Well, Manny has the shirt for 420, but 419. <laughs> Missing that minute. Miranda, what's the most white trash in and trouble thing you can think of right now? EJ Space. <laughs> <laughs> Having sex in a riverbed. Hey. <laughs> That's kind of hot. <laughs> I also so have a show coming up. You got what? Um, a showcase coming up on Saturday, April 6th at 9 p.m. Uh, it's with James Hollingsworth Ooh. Uh, at Brew Florida Growler Bar. Brew Ooh. spelled B-R-U with a line of it. Hell yeah. German, baby. 8729 oh, yeah. M Highway. Is it a German growl like a Heil? <laughs> <laughs> EJ, remember Magneto? <laughs> uh, I'll talk about it when I stop recording. Oh, funny. All right, I'm gonna stop recording now. This is white trash in trouble. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Miranda, what's the most white trash thing you can think of? Most white you trash thing you can think of. you said sex in a riverbed. Yeah, that's not that white wait, trash. No, no. How Yo, about how about having sex having that. having sex in in a Walmart bathroom while oh. eating Blippy subs? Blippy. Wait, no, Walmart's got a, a deal with Subway, so you can't eat it. Well, back then they used to have they used to have Blimpy subs. Blimpy's out my fucking white voice trash is EJ that he knows that. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> I am I'm trash. Scotty I am Scotty Chi. J. I'm EJ Salter. And this is White Trash and in that. Trouble. Ma- that's Manny and that's Miranda. <laughs> and we love you guys. Have a good day. Bye.